welcome, welcome back to another something Saturday. Some more Witchwood we got going on, possibly for the last time. Hi, I'm Ruby, if you haven't been here before. Hello. Um, yes, we are jumping back in to some more Witchwood. I think we could be able to finish it tonight. Fingers crossed. Um, because I do, as I've mentioned before, I really want to play Dredge, but <laughs> I've been loving this game and it's been so fun, so I really want to finish it up. Hey, Amy! Um, so, let's get into it. I think we are approaching the end of a couple of other missions. Yes, last we left off, we uh, discovered the very obvious fact <laughs> that the gardener in the... Um, Stag's palace, who is also his brother, is actually meant, potentially meant to be king. So we have to go and find a way to get that all organized uh, and all sorted out. And then we've also got some hogs to deal with and some other people that I can't quite remember. Yeah, but enough of me talking about it. Let's just get into it. Da -da -da -da. Boom. Let's go. Oh, let me get the right thing up. Time for murder. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> um, and like I said, I think we can get through all of this tonight. Um, I'm going to see where we get to at our usual kind of 10, 10.30 stop time. But if it seems like we don't have heaps to go, I might just keep going. We'll see. It's Easter weekend. I don't have any plans, so why not? But anywho, let us continue and immediately go and get a whole bunch of resources. I am drinking a not soda. Um, not sponsored, as if I would be. Um, but they're really good. They're zero sugar, and they are recycled cans. So for every, like, uh, for every drink or individual can, they recycle the equivalent of two plastic bottles from the ocean, which is very cool. All right. Where are we at? Um, yeah, oh, that's right, the hawk. Okay, so we have to help the bucket see in the mountain. Yep. Search the pig for, okay. We need elf shoes, we need growth potion. Nice. <laughs> Bear is also very good. Oh yeah, we need a whole bunch of stuff for this. We need to find a way to bypass the bank guard to track down the rumpling. Okay. Meet you up the mountain? Alright. Let's go this way. Oh, everyone- oh no, everyone's still here. Hey dude! Everything must go perfectly. Okay, we've already grabbed that stuff. These people all suck, so... Where's the mountain? Um, oh yeah, we go through here. Oh, that's right! Because the whole thing was like, whichever one of them can get to the top of the mountain will be able to do the stuff. Um, so where do we need to take it to? There. And this is the portal to the village to the forest. Okay. This way. How's your weekend been going, Amy? Been good? Been a nice time? Hey, dude! What's up? Oh, I need a trowel. You sound very cold. Are you okay? Pal, you alright? You see the buck hiding behind a bush, anxiously watching something up ahead. What's the matter? Did you get cold feet already? Shh! They'll hear you. Look. Through the pine boughs, you can make out figures moving across the snow. 
They're covered in warm pelts and carry sharp-looking spears. The royal trappers. They keep my brother's court supplied with furs, but they've been out here for so long they'll hunt anything that moves. It would be a shame if those antlers of yours ended up on someone's trophy. Wait here and let me deal with them. Which you would. Hey, X-Ray. <laughs> Alright, be careful. That... Alright, where are they? Hello? Oh, hi. You are a little dicey, aren't you? Alright. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was what I was meant to do. Hello. It's looking for something to climb on. What? Don't know what that's meant to be. What is going to help us get past these guys, aside from just running? Touch of cold. Ooh. Rustling snow. Okay, so we got to kill the little monstery guys. How do we make this? Oh, I can make that. Nice. And I think I can make this. No, I need a dryad heart. Okay. Well, we have some bottled despair whenever we need it. <laughs> Spicy peppers. What? What am I going to use peppers for? I'm excited. Whoa! Hello! What is this? What is this? Before you stands a looming rock face. Not even the most determined climber could hope to scale it. I thought you said you knew a way up to the peak. <laughs> Buck is fully not here, but oh well. Well, you see, this is the Great Geyser. When the air is cold enough, the water erupting from it freezes solid. I thought it might give us something to climb up. You look into the dry crater at the bottom of the sheer cliff. I don't see much erupting happening down there. Uh, it's been dormant for a few seasons now. I kind of hope we get lucky. I don't trust any luck that I don't make myself. You take a moment to ponder your situation, and I, the small geysers nearby, frequently spewing steam up into the frosty air. I suppose these other water spouts all draw from the same underground source. I think you're right. They started popping up shortly after the great geyser fell silent. Then I wager if we plug them all, we'll be able to make the big one blow its top again. Plug them? With what? You turn your attention to the bleating mountain goats digging for lichen nearby. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Those frosty beasts look to be about the right diameter. Maybe I can coax some of them into position. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. Now do I know what you need? A goat perch! Of course. Of course a goat perch. I don't think I can... I can make this! Nice. And then... This I can also make. Alright, let's make a goat... Oh, I need more cobblestones. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Alright. So, we've got to go and get a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Seen a bit of this game before. Oh yeah, okay. So, what this game is about. We are playing as this witch person. And, uh... There is a... Uh... Basically, back at home, we have a sleeping maiden in a shrine in our backyard and we don't fully remember why she's there or who she is um and so we had a chat with the devil who was in the form of a goat and he said he would explain everything if we collected on some souls that he had been promised or was waiting for so we're going around finding bad people 
disrupting their plans and also killing them and giving their souls to the devil so that we can find out what the deal is with the sleeping maiden basically basically that's what's going on um but it's a lot of like puzzle solving and uh resource gathering really um yeah it's been really fun and it's very it's very i really enjoy the writing in this it's been super fun Ooh, what's a snow snare um and when i do this this is me using my secret witch sense which tells me how to catch different things that have different weaknesses um <laughs> yeah basically yeah <laughs> um okay what is a snow snare handy i love that we have a lot of stuff for catching those already great um So, let's put one of these. Oh, you also want a snow snare. Okay. Who's going to get it first? Both of you? Oh, nearly. Oh, wait, yes. Ah, no. Oh, okay. And this one. Boop. Go get it. Thanks, buddy. Ooh. Crystal mute spine. You had two spines my guy okay um all right so we need to go and get a bunch of stuff oh, i really kind of wish that i could make like a grocery list <laughs> just to be like yes here are the various things we need so we're gonna need another you know what i have so many friggin bits of paper around this house. I probably can make a grocery list. There we go. Alright. Let's do it. Let's make a grocery list. So, we need da -da -da -da, some, we need at least one dryad heart. Dryad heart. We need, which one's this? Oh, changeling root. Okay. Changeling root. And we've got a lot of bug guts, so that's fine. Then what else do we need to make? Uh, oh, we need to catch another uh, snowman bits. They have a better name, but that's what I will remember them as so far. Grocery list. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It is a lot of chopping things up. Um, okay. That's how we're going to get that. We need more milk. Um, which means we probably need more pots. Uh, purification water. How do we make purification water again? Um, bu -bu -bum. No, but we do need that. So deep one head um purification water is it this one nope nope this one yeah oh we just need a whole bunch of water water two exclamation points okay we need elf shoes great and a growth potion. Oh no, we have a growth potion. Sick. Oh yeah, this we need a key to key to my heart. Which means we need a skeleton key. So we need a ghost skull. And a need this. So we're going to need two dryad hearts. And... Two times this, I think, as well. A ghost skull. I think that's what it, what it... I don't actually know what it's specifically called. Mummified head. There you go. <laughs> 
Um, a sewing kit. So we're probably going to need some more skater snoots. Um, and a protective talisman. Which means we need one of these. Oh, we can make one of these. Nice. Yes. Great. We've got the protective talisman. Sick. Got that. Uh, we need something to deal with the bank guard, but I'm not sure what. Okay. Ghost skull. Listen, all right? Ghosts can have skulls if they really want. Let's not... We're not here to judge. Um... Okay, so to get a changeling... No, to get a... We need two dryad hearts. Which we... Okay, so we need to go and get some more fireflies. Which are in the forest. So let's go to the forest first. So much crafting! I was thinking that I probably could have logged in slightly ahead of stream and gotten all the resource stuff out of the way earlier. Which I probably should have done, but then I got distracted because I went to a sticker convention and had a better time with <laughs> my day. <laughs> okay. Hey, you do you, X-Ray. Um. Okay. Let's have a look at the map. Where are they? Okay, they're further down. Up, up, up. Nice. This way. Where is my net? I moved it. Because I'm a doofus. Um, I'm going to move that to here. That, uh, I'm going to leave that there because we're going to need that for catching elves. <laughs> oh, the sentences that you don't think you'll be saying on a Saturday evening. <laughs> Alright, back here. Thank you. Nice. Okay, great. You're a changeling. <laughs> gotcha. Are you also a changeling? No. These are just regular mushrooms. Okay. Sweet. So we've got a bunch of fireflies, which is good. Um, can we make those now then? Uh Oh, what was it for? It was for the protect. No, we made the protective talisman. What was it for? Sign kit, key to my heart. No. Why did I need that? Oh, oh, cinder box. That's what it was for. <laughs> Great. Now we got to go find ourselves some dryads. Which I think there's one up this way. Yeah, there you are. Hello. Um. Ba -ba -ba. Thank you. Is there another one here? No. Okay, you just do your thing. Changeling. Are you... Nope, you're still going. Okay. Uh, sure, let's go to the swamp. Real quick. So we got one of them. We got... I'm probably gonna need more changeling roots. Okay, so here we need smoke bombs we can make. I'm gonna make a few. Because the, again, the more of them we can get at once, the better. Um, 
Oh, yes. Hello. Over this way, please. Yes, come gather around me. Please, 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 please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And boom. <laughs> nice. You love to see it. Excellent. Uh, yep. Thank you. Thank you. I can't remember what... Oh, spirit salts. That's what you get with those. Okay. Hmm. And we need to get more of this as well. Uh, any more reeds? I mean, I might as well pick these up too while I'm here. <laughs> Ooh, is this just a regular water well? Yes. Great. Uh, reeds. Reeds, reeds, reeds. No. No. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to talk to you. Um... Get those two, actually. But is there a place where there's more than two? I don't think there is, aside from that place that we've already used. Is there anything else in particular that we need from the swamp? Um, no, I don't think so. We just mostly needed Skeeter Snoops. Okay, so let's go... We also just need dirt in general. Um, so let's go get some more Skeeter Snoops because you can never have too many. Come on, pal. Come on. Over here. No. Follow me. Look at me. I'm so tasty. This way. Hello. Come fight me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great. I can give up. Dig up this dirt. Take this. Take this. I still don't know what your deal is, dude, but we'll work it out at some point, I'm sure. Um, and this. Right. Okay. That's most of the stuff that we need. So let's make another one of these. I'm gonna make two. Um, and we need a bunch more pots, but I need ashes for that. Okay. So we got a bunch of Skeeter Snoots. Oh, so what is the actual thing that we need to beat up? The... Those are antlered ghosts. What are the ones that we need to beat up? The regular ghosts. Spirit salts? Okay. Oh, buddy, we can make so many of them! Yes. Nice. Okay. So let's go get the ghost skulls. What's this? Oh, yeah, we need a bunch. Can we make these? And we need way more cobblestones. Okay. Let's go to... Hey, don't beat me up. No. Leave me alone. I just want to use the portal. Okay. We're going to go to the graveyard. 
and go and beat up a bunch of skull ghosts. Um, do, 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 do. Where are they? Oh, we can get a bunch of dirt here too. Nice. Um, hello, skull ghosts. Where you be? Oh, there you are. Uh, boop. <laughs> get ya. No, don't fight me. Sir, you, sir, you. Come here. Come here. <laughs> nice. I probably could have gotten both of them, but oh well. Alright. So we can make a skeleton key. Great. And then we need the love potion, which means we need the oceanic oil, which means we gotta go kill a deep one. Alright! We're making progress. I'm just gathering a bunch of dirt while I'm here. Great. Let's go back to... Do I need any other... Hmm. So I need to get two deep one heads um okay I don't I'm gonna go to the docks because I don't fully remember what the deep ones actually take in order to kill them um so let's go find one Hi, sir. What's your deal? Okay, so it is a tidal tincture. Which I need these for. And weird water. Okay. Uh, oh, and I need to kill you for that, and you are a crab trap. Okay, yes. All coming back to me. Okay. Inventory. Boop. Boop, boop. Uh, where are you? Where'd you go, fishy? You over here? Yes. Bye! <laughs> oh, it's very, very brutal, but, you know, sometimes it's just got to be done. Uh, not you. Not you. Are there any other fish running around? Not at the moment. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Let's go to market. We'll come back for the deep one heads because I need to get some ashes and some elf shoes. There we go. Um, yes. Nice. And let me swap, put my shiny lore here again. My shiny lore. Lure. <laughs> that good, good lore. <laughs> Aren't you a shiny lore? Am I wrong about that? I thought that was your deal. Is it? Oh, it is! You were just already over here. Nice! <laughs> okay. Journal. I need the elf shoes. You need the elf shoes. Uh... We need three sets of elf shoes. Okay. Oh, we 
need more fireflies. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's go through here a bit because we need to make. We need to pick up some more cobblestones. And some more ashes. Oh no, the goose is gonna get me. Ah. What is your deal? Okay. Nice. Yeah, and we can head back this way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's more reeds here. Excellent. Oh, and there's more dirt here. Yo, the village is where all the good stuff is, apparently. Can I dig up some cobblestones? Yes. Good. I don't want to dig you. Oh, that's right. The fucking... The wolf is the absolute worst. Fucking creepy guy. Forgot about him. Oh, man. Ow! Oh, weird, I didn't actually take any damage. Huh. Oh, shit, did that use my protecting charm? No, okay, good. Okay. Let's get all these lovely embers from the black sheep's unfortunately burnt down house. Okay. Any others around? Not that I can see. Um, Alright. So we can make a bunch more pots, though. A couple more, at least. Which is great. Um, yeah, let's go to the fields. Milk shoes, we need two more. Um, because I think there's some changelings around here too. In the cabbage patch? Yeah, these fuckers. Gotcha! <laughs> and this one? <laughs> uh, is there any others? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. And we're gonna need milk. Mm. Are there more changelings up here? Yes, there is. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Um, but there's no coals here. That's fine. So, how many do we actually need? Because we need... <sighs> we need to make this. Oh no, we need to make... This? Yes. We need to make magic paste. So tell you what, let's get two of these and two waters. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am, probably. Um, and then we'll get two waters here. 
Right. Now, we're gonna make, oh boy, this. I think we're gonna need one more of those to actually do it fully, but that's okay. Uh, and we need more, that's right, we need more lightning bugs. Okay. Um, let's go back. Is there a dryad up here? I can't remember. There's a turkey. There's two turkeys. There's three turkeys! Not safe. Not good. <laughs> No, maybe not. I thought there might have been, but it doesn't seem so. Alright. Uh, I don't want to go back to the village just yet, because I want to go back to the forest. Go and get even more fireflies and even more... Dryad hearts. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Here we go. Hello! Oh, nice. Hey, come here. Thank you. Thank you! Hey! Nice, nice, nice. Um, and I also need to get some more dragonflies, which means I do need to go back to... The... Swamp. In a sec. Um, da -da -da. Thanks, pal. Nice. Can I? Oh, I gotta catch them, don't I? Yeah. Thank you. Let's go this way. And this way. Nice. Come here. Come here. You I'm gonna beat up. <laughs> and by beat up I mean kill. <laughs> okay. Nice. We done did that. Excellent. So we definitely need two more lightning uh light lures no mm -mm 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 -mm. ah, all good you don't have to apologize you do what you want to do my friend um okay great oh we need to make weird water uh yeah and we need Two of these. Okay. <laughs> oh, my brain. Alright. We're gonna go back. Actually, the portal's right here. Let's go docks and then uh ba -ba -ba -ba. docks and then village. Um, these are the docks? Yes. Okay. So we gotta use this to go catch some fish. Oh, there's one, actually. Nice. Come get your crab trap. Thanks, pal. <laughs> So brutal. <laughs> okay. But we can make another one of these. Oh, we gotta make one of them. <sighs> Which is then one of these. Oh, we need more water. God damn it. Can 
I make more pots at the moment? Get got bird creature. <laughs> um That can stay there. That's fine. That's fair. <laughs> um Sure, let's go to the village and get some more water. And we can get a bunch of elves while we're here. God, this game really is a lot of, like, what's the most efficient pathing path for me to murder a bunch of things? <laughs> oh, hello, sir. Can I have your shoes, please? Thank you. <laughs> Is there another elf around here? <laughs> I mean, it's an apt. <laughs> You're not entirely wrong, at the very least. Elf, please. Elf, can you come over here, please? Pretty please. Okay, hold on. Let me pick this back up. Oh, uh, because I think Allure gets those guys too, actually. Uh... So let's find a different elf. Elfies, hello. Crafting and murder. <laughs> That's, you know, if I had to be pigeonholed into a certain type of gaming experience, crafting and murder is pretty high up there for me. <laughs> nice! Okay, we have all of the shoes that we need. Excellent. Um, oh, now we just need three water for that, so... Can we make a bunch more of these? Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go back to the well. Oh no, not the mimic. Eh. Oh, whoops. Mm -mm -mm. Right. Oh, I've got to go down here. That is right. Nice. I can go here. I can get a bunch of dirt while I'm down here. Great. Um, in here as well. And I might actually just grab these frogs while I'm here, in case I need some more ichor. Thank you. Okay. So now we should be able to make the purification water. I believe. Yes! Sweet! What do we need? Hell yeah! So now we've got all the stuff that we need for... Great, let's go do the hog stuff. Hell yeah! Progress! Um, and it's up this way, I'm pretty sure. But One moment. Sorry. Okay, we're good. Oh, wait. Do I want to go to market? Yes, I do. It's up in the top corner of market. Just gonna grab a bunch of cobblestones while we go past. Does not hurt to have. I saw you there, Mimic. This way. I'm gonna get you stuff, dude. I'll be right back. Oh, and there's a cow. Nice. To the pig farm! Okay. 
Um, where is the water trough? This one. This slop trough is overflowing with filth, like something is clogging the drainage hole. A thorough cleaning should dislodge the obstacle. Ba ba! <laughs> the pause that it has every time you do something for a mission that makes me so nervous because it's just long enough to be like, oh shit, I didn't do it right, did I? <laughs> You flush out the disgusting container, eventually getting to the root of the drainage problem. Pick it up. Hmm, that's odd. I doubt any of the pigs around here have had much dental work done. It's because they're feeding people to the pigs. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, oh yeah, you all wanted shoes, that's right. The workers ignore you and continue fighting over their pathetic prize. Here, have some shoes. You put down the minuscule slippers. These won't be big enough for anybody. But we do have some growth potion. You pop the cork on the growth potion. You sprinkle a couple of carefully measured drops of the growth potion onto the tiny shoes. They make a sound like popcorn. Aww. <laughs> and burst into a size much more accommodating to human feet. The bickering workers look over at the source of the noise and their eyes go wide. Hey, look, are those new shoes? Dropping the old boot in the mud, they rush over to try on the new footwear. Check it out, they got jangly bells on the toes! <laughs> Are they wearing them? I hope they're wearing them. <laughs> you sort through the collection of objects you've acquired, uh, accrued. A silver tooth, a human bone, and a chewed boot. I'm not sure what happened in this horrible place, but I've got a suspicion that old beggar may have lost more than just his memories here. I better go see him. He'll be missing his boot, at the very least. Oh, I was hoping they'd be wearing them. That's okay. Let's go! I'm glad you're feeling better, pig. Back to the bigger. Did he lose his, like, spouse? <laughs> Is that what you mean by more than just shoes? Hello there. You've returned. Did you have any luck finding my, uh... What was it I lost again? You place the collective remains in front of the man. Do any of these look familiar to you? Oh, that's my favourite boot. I was wondering where that got off to, but what are these? The man runs his fingers over the bone and silver tooth with creeping realisation crossing his face. His skin be begins to take on an ephemeral pallor. Oh no! Oh no, buddy! Am I dead it would certainly appear that way don't feel too bad these sorts of things have a way of sneaking up on us but i i remember now i was at the hog farm but i was too old too weak to work the sisters they said i was useless they threw me in the feed trough and then all those hungry pigs oh no no how could they do this to me <laughs> The ghosts have skulls! Fuck yeah. <laughs> All my life I was starving. I had to beg for table scraps. And then they fed me to the pigs! I'm very sorry things ended this way. We ought to hold a feast to honour your life properly. A feast? I've never had a feast. Where would we get the food? And who would come? Everyone I know is slaving away for those horrible sows. You cast a glance at the nearby communal cooking pit. I think I have a solution to both of those problems. Don't you worry. I'll make sure you have a meal to remember. Are we gonna eat the pigs? Yo! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> this pit has seen its fair share of community cookouts, though it isn't at the best in the best shape. It'll be enough for what you have in mind. Now then, what should be on the menu? You clap your hands together hungrily. I think pork would be most appropriate. Yes! Hell yes! <laughs> First, I'll have to fashion the proper container. A feast need not be flesh and blood if the spirit is hungry. Horse! <laughs> Horse and effigy. Oh my god. I love it. How the hell do we make it? 
And where is it? Oh, crap. Okay, we've got to make one of these. Uh, which means we've got to make one of these. Which means we move. Okay. There we go. We've got to add stuff to the shopping list. <laughs> got to add the things for the dinner. <laughs> um, so we need hopper legs. And... Uh, this hopper legs. We've got another ghost skull, so that's fine. And this is... Ghostly ectoplasm, uh, which means we need an exorcism charm, so we need backlings. Okay. These are obviously things we all knew off the top of our heads. Um, great. <laughs> Incredible. I'm so here for eating the, the pig people. Um, oh. Okay. Ugh. So what do we need? We need bat wings, which we can get, I'm pretty sure. Because we just need a bunch of these. Yeah! Yeah. Um, so let's go do that right now. Uh, this way? Yeah, this way. Oh, wait, no, this is the docks. Whoops! Oh, well. It's alright. Um. Oh, but we've got enough to get one of the... The, um, the heads of the... Pe oh, wait! Can we do it for both of them? That would be great. Hey, dude, come here. Come follow me. Come on. Come on. Come get me. Come on. This way. This way. This way. Come on. Come on. It's probably not gonna work, and this is all gonna be for nothing, but... <laughs> Let's try it out. <laughs> come on. Oh, yes, no! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Ah, this way. Come on. Yeah! Ah. Oh. Oh. Okay, we got one of them. That works. <laughs> um, great. Is that all we needed for this? Yes. And then we needed that to make this. To make this! Woo! Hell yeah! Okay, great. Um, what is the other thing we need aside from the kit? Sewing hit and protective talisman. We've got all the stuff for that now. Yes, let's go fuck up the wolf. <laughs> I hate that guy. <sighs> good, good, good. Is he in the market or is he in the village? He might be. In... He might be in the village. Um, we'll try up here anyways, but I think he's in the village. Great. So sorry, buddy. Oh no, he might be here. Hmm, we'll find out. No. In the village. Let's go! dude. We'll get him. Boy, absolute asshole. Oh, that's right! That's what we're doing! We're making a puppet. That's right. So this is basically Little Red Riding Hood. She's a barmaid that works here. And that creepy wolf out in the front there would uh, not stop harassing her, so we're gonna make a little puppet to mislead him, and then the dude outside's gonna shoot him for us. 
Um, don't need much to fool the wolf, but the enchantment will take a special touch. We got it, buddy. You tap the key and hear a lovely tone. This will power the puppet's heart and give it a romantic allure. <laughs> you take stock of the bits and bobs needed for sewing together a convincing physique. There should be enough spare rags in the storeroom for ample stuffing. And boom. If this is to survive an attempt on the wolf, it will need all the magical assistance it can get. Dunzo. You place the last stitch against the mannequin's doll-like smile. Its plump head hangs against the coat rack, no livelier than a reed in the wind. Are you sure this will work? I know the wolf doesn't have the keenest eyes, but he's no fool either. You grin underneath your cauldron and extend a gnarled finger. Oh, there is another face under there. Interesting. Toward the red hood hanging on the coat rack. It will work just fine, my dear. A hound relies on his sense of smell more than anything else. This spare cloak of yours will complete the illusion. You throw a hood over the puppet's form and utter a dark curse beneath your breath. A great tremor passes through the building, shaking its foundations and making the lights flicker. Oh! It's so cute! Oh my god! An airy light fills the room, illuminating the puppet's body. Its head cocks ever so slightly to hold you in an unsettling gaze. It's... it's... it's alive! <laughs> yes! You are adorable. I'd better deploy this puppet out of the wolf's sight. This back room should do fine. Then I'll simply walk it over to that salivating carnivore and strike up a conversation. <gasps> you oh my god <laughs> this thing is too cute i love it oh my god i love it so much i want this to be my friend hello you guide the puppet on its invisible strings and bump into the wolf well 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 look who's come back i knew you couldn't hide from me forever you contort the puppet in a flirtatious twist and blow a kiss from the doll's stitched lips. What do you say you and me get out of this stinking tavern, eh? I'll take you out to my place, let you simmer in the, uh, moonlight. You do your best to make the puppet flutter its eyelashes seductively, but the lids get stuck halfway. Thankfully, the wolf is paying too much attention to his hunger to notice. Don't be shy now. I'll show up, show you the night of your life. It'll be a real treat, I promise. The wolf caresses the doll's burlap cheek with a clawed finger, grinning from ear to ear. The puppet returns his affection with a vacant, button-eyed stare. <laughs> <coughs> I've just got to get a few things prepared. Meet me in my cabin in the dark wood, just north of the swamp. Oh shit, is that where we're gonna go? Past the troll? It's a very dangerous road, so don't think about running off. But don't worry, I'll be watching you every step of the way. You know, to make sure you're safe. He licks his chops enthusiastically. Lashing his bushy tail back and forth, the wolf struts out of the tavern as if he won a thousand gold coins. <gasps> You pilot the puppet back to the storeroom and it collapses into a bundle at your feet, ready for its next assignment. You did it! The wolf is finally out of my hair! Thank you so much. Maybe now I can finally get some work done around here. Hmm, but I didn't hear a gunshot from our brave huntsman. I better go see if his ambush went away. Take care, my dear. Don't let the dogs keep you down. Hmm... Dude, you missed your shot. What the fuck? Hey. The young hunter is practically shaking in his boots when you find him outside the tavern. Uh, I, I couldn't do it. I brought you. I brought that wolf right to you and you chickened out? What kind of hunter are you? D did you see him? He's huge and hairy. He gave one look at my little blunderbuss and howled with laughter. How am I even supposed to scratch that monster with this puny pop gun? 
Sounds like you need some better ammo. As I recall, wolves have a particular distaste for silver. By Abraham's beard, you're right! What I need is a silver bullet. Ooh! How do we make... Ooh! We got a whole bunch of new recipes. Okay, how do we make a silver bullet? We need... Okay. Uh, can we make one of these? No, because we have to make one of these. Which we need one of them for. Which we can't make yet. Okay. <laughs> silver bullet and... Can we make a puzzle box? We can make a puzzle box. Nice. And then what is this? Okay, so it's a bunch it's a bunch of it's a bunch of mountainy stuff. Um so we need Um mm, Mountain Fox Fur Um The Red Feathers And what else was it? Yeah, red feathers, and... Oh, we need to make a glitter bomb, which we just need to make another pot for. Um, which is fine. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So that's that. What do we need for the bank guard? Um... Let's go back to the bank, which I think is down this way. Yay, rainbow sheep! Yes. I want to see if we can spot how to bypass the guard. Glamour! Okay. We need another mimic's toe. Which means we need to make another skeleton key. Um, and... Oy, oy, oy. <laughs> okay. So for that, we need... Uh, what's that? Ectoplasm? More ectoplasm? At least times two. And... Some more... Forest herb. Okay. We can do that. Um, let's go to, hmm, what do we need for the stag? Oh, that's right, we need to make the, uh, wand. Okay, we need another dryad heart. So... Now that we're in the village, let's go to the graveyard. Boop. Get a bunch of bat wings and such. Whoop, hello. Nope, that's the docks, it's this way. Dun 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 dun. Yay, rainbow sheep! Okay. And this. And also this. Thank you. you nothing else to pick up okay but we needed that to be able to make this uh but we're probably gonna need two of those so let's make another couple of these bad boys and just come stand here thank you Nice. Um, and let's make a second charm. Great. Now, we're gonna take this. 
And we're gonna go get a bunch of ectoplasm. Not you. You. Thank you. Oh! We actually get two from one ghost. That's great. Um. Okay, that is actually great to know. So now, we got that. So we can make this. No, we need the dryad heart for that. We needed... Oh boy. Oh boy. What did we need the ectoplasm for? Make a bunch of these. Oh, was it this? Yes. Which we also need hopper legs for. Okay. To the fields. Away. But it um but it up boom. So we've got ectoplasm. Great. We did the elf shoots. Um Okay, we're probably gonna need another We need another dryad heart, but that's fine. Gonna get you. Thank you. And you. Thank you. Is there a fire up here? Yes, but you don't give me any of that stuff. Uh probably wouldn't hurt to grab some changelings while we're here. Oh, hello. Thank you. Hi. Bye. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. <laughs> um, there is another fire down this way. Which we can use. Yeah. Nice. And this one. Yes, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. And then we can make a bunch of pots and get a whole bunch of water. Here we go. Um, pots. Boop, boop, boop. Thank you. And just like that, I have hardly any dirt again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. 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 And then I'm going to keep this one here just in case I actually need to get milk for something, but I don't know what. I can't remember what right now. Okay. Making a dreadful doll. Done. Turning that into a haunted mannequin. Done. <laughs> Um, and then using that to make a pork effigy. Done. <laughs> you know, all the traditional ways of doing things. I need to make one of these. It means I need to make one of these. Done. Make that. Done. To make that. Done. Okay, great. Um, pork effigy we've got. We need to get another dryad heart and some more herbs. So let's go up to the like up to the forest Ooh, to go and get some herbs. And then we can go cook some pork. <laughs> oh, and we can get some more coals while we're here too. Nice. Thank you. Oh, forest herbs. Where might you be? There's one. Thank you much, Lee. Foresty herbs. Where are you hiding? 
There you are. Oh, and a dryad. Hello! I forgot you were there, and I do actually need to kill you, so this is fortuitous. Um... <laughs> Hi! Thank you. You'll <laughs> cool off eventually. <laughs> oh no. Nice. Okay. Forest herb. Great. Let's go down to the love couple. How they doing down here? I could actually go for some more of these. Still going strong? Good on you, man. Okay. I don't think I need goblin snot for anything. Ooh, forest herb. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Where's this go? Oh, to the mountain. Not yet. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> um, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Boop. Boop, boop. Dude, you gotta calm down, my friend. Okay, to the village! Away! Boom. Let's get some coals while we're on this side of town. Nice. None of that, thank you. Oh yeah, you need a silver bullet. Which we're not ready to do just yet. But we'll get there, don't worry. For now, let's go give this old ghost some peace. By eating some pigs. <laughs> oh, I love it. Alrighty. Oh, hello. Here you go. You set the tiny false creature amongst the ashes of the cooking pit. It wriggles and squeals with impotent hunger. Now to fatten up this little piggy. I'll start with the smallest pig sister, but I'll need to collect something special to bind her spirit. Ooh, okay. Only an item with a deep personal connection will do. I've got to get her switch. Cool. Not the Nintendo kind. The really crappy kind. Yeah, the little pig sister is very into Animal Crossing. Oh, wait, do I have to steal it? Is it the small pig? Where's the... Where's the switch? Hmm. Oh, it's you! Hello! <laughs> you can hear the runty swine squealing even before you see her. Holding her crop high, she busies herself admonishing, admonishing, ugh, admonishing a cluster of poor workers. I ought to feed you useless rumps to the meat grinder, you filthy mongrels! Do we pay you to work or to sleep? They recoil from it, their taskmaster's lashes. You don't pay us at all! Say there, you seem to have gotten an awful lot of use from that grotty old switch. What would you say to a trade? What? A trade? I've had this whipper ever since I was a wee suckling. No way, no how, am I giving up my precious little frog? Lashmaster 2000! <laughs> oh no! 
What do we need? Oh, fucking pumpkin jack bones. Okay. All right. Goddamn pumpkin jacks. All right, let's go catch a bunch of mice and kill some pumpkin jacks. Um, jack bones and mice tails. Well, rat tails, but you know. Uh, we got the hopper legs. Great. Mm, we got bat wings. We got forest herb. Okay. Uh, we still can't make this yet. No, we can now. Good. And then we just need to make another one of these. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, let's go to. <laughs> nice. That's a very good game. I'm glad you're having a good time with that. <laughs> okay. What did we need the other dude for? Yep. Did we actually need another uh silver bullet? No. Oh, was it for this? Yes. Wait, no. We could just make that. Yeah. Confusing. Okay. <laughs> oh, but no. Okay, I really want to double check that I'm not just messing myself up. We need that for that. We need a light lure for them. Okay. Yeah. Flashmaster. Yeah. Silver bullet. We need those things and... Oh, is it this that we need that for? Oh, we can... No, we can make that now. Yeah. What did I need that for? would have been for this, but I don't know why I would need that now. Okay, alright. Baffling, but hey. <laughs> In that case, I might just hold on to that for a bit. Because I can't remember exactly why we need that. Um. Hmm, very weird. Uh, we can make another ghost perch. Nice. Um, and we need to go kill a bunch of stuff up there. Okay, so let's actually go back to the mountain. Because a lot of the stuff we need is back on the mountain now. Hey. Bam, 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 bam. Da 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 Okay. What do you need? Ah, no, don't, don't fight me. A frozen treat. Okay. Can I make a frozen treat? Okay. How many? Bits of oh, just one. Okay, great. Uh, we can make that. 
I didn't make that. So it means we're gonna have to get a bunch more of those, but that's fine. Hey, buddy. You can get it. Come on. Come on. That's it. Eat that up. Great. Thank you. Nice. Okay, and how do I catch you, Snip? Oh, great, steal snap traps. You love to see it. Don't you go anywhere near that. <laughs> That's for them only. Thank you. And again. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you. Okay. So we have that. So now we can make this. And this. Yes. Yes! Hell yeah! Okay, great. Boom, boom! Ooh. Now we need to go and kill some of these little snow dudes. <laughs> come on, come get it! Yeah, thank you! Of the little snow dudes, where you at? I do love the music in this part. It's so nice. I like all of the music in this game, actually. Very well made. Oh, hello. Yes, you're the other snow dude I want, please. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Excellent! Okay. So now... We can make this. Yes! And deal with all these guys! The way that the story intended. <laughs> Without just du juking past everyone. Okay. I don't know how many people it chills. Yo! <laughs> you glance at the buck hiding safely behind a tree at the far side of the camp. Making a raven's call, you signal for him to, re to join you. The buck picks his way through the frozen trappers. Uh, uh, are they going to be okay? Eh, they might catch a case of the sniffles. Nothing a nice warm bowl of soup won't fix. Come along now, we're still a ways away from the mountain's peak. I think I know a way up. I'll meet you ahead. Come join me when you're ready. I see, that's how the story was meant to play out. <laughs> that's so funny. Yes! Thank you. Just the like, I don't know how many people this will get. Everyone in the camp <laughs> immediately dies. <laughs> oh, and you can push them around! Oh, that's fun. Okay. So now we're here. Can we place one of these? Oh, do we have to place them near the goats? Yep. Oh no, we gotta we gotta put them on the things. Okay, great. Come on, pal. Hit. Hit. Look, right here. 
Come climb on it. Thank you. And then come climb on it here. Thank you. And then climb on it here. This, the animations in this game. Hey, X-Ray! What's up? <laughs> Why am I torturing goats? Um, because obviously they are the perfect diameter for covering up these geysers that we have to cover up in order to prove that this guy's king. Obviously. <laughs> Look, I didn't make the game, but I'm having a fucking great time playing it. <laughs> Come on. Over here. Oh, what? Yes! Plump bodies of braying goats clogging up the small geysers. The earth beneath your feet begins to grumble. The mountain, oh, the mountain goats, <laughs> the mountain goats go eyes go wide as the pressure builds beneath them. With no other outlet, the steam rushes toward the only opening left. With a deafening boom, the long dormant geyser erupts, sending a great spear of water high into the air. As the deluge reaches its apex, ice crystals begin to form in the mist, twinkling as they hang in the air. Bit by bit, they begin to build on each other, forming larger and larger crystals until it forms a great column of ice, rising all the way up towards the mountain peak. Oh, I can't believe it worked! The last one to the top is a spotted fawn! Oh, so pretty! Yay! Mountain goat song. We <laughs> straight us and now we're stuck in a geyser. <laughs> I would have put it past them. It's just the way that they capitalized mountain goats in that particular sentence that was extremely funny. You stand at the mountain's peak, buffeted by wind and snow. Now then, where's this crystal cave you spoke of? It would be great if we get to the end of this particular mission and he's not meant to be king. <laughs> I. I'm not sure. I think it should be just up ahead, but in this blizzard I can hardly see my own nose. The buck jumps behind you, pointing into the frigid fog. Wait! What was that? You squint into the galing winds, unable to see anything but white. Probably just another mountain goat. I wouldn't be so sure. When I was little, my brother told me stories of the snowkin who lived up here. He said if I ever went up the mountain, the snowkin would blow a great blizzard down on me. He said they'd turn me around and give me false directions until I got lost and froze solid. Sounds to me like these snowkin might be some kind of guardian spirits. If they're aiming to, and if they're aiming to keep people away from something, then surely they'll know where that something is. I have a notion to find our way as they do, but it will take a considerable quantity of their essence. That sounds dangerous. I'll just stay put then. I know better than to wander blind into a snowstorm. Alright, dude. Um, This is not the one I want to be tracking. This is. Collect snowkin hearts from the mountain peaks. Oh, hello! Gotta make more melting pots. Do, 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 do. This place is huge. Okay, let's keep going. What if I just find the ice cave? Like, here, for instance. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that it's there, but I have a strong suspicion that it's there. <laughs> Not a fan of the weird tall snowmen. That's fair. That's fair and valid. Oh god, please don't beat me up. Hmm. 
So I need to make... Um... Trap. Still just need to make snap traps, but... I'm gonna need so many. It does. That is true. They don't really have a snowman monster. Or like a snow construct. That'd be fun. Ah! Please don't kill me! Gotta go! <laughs> okay. I don't think I can get the birds up here, so I'm gonna go back down and see if I can get some more. Um... <laughs> Can I put them here? Yes! Nice. Thank you! I appreciate your sacrifice. It will most likely not be in vain. See, look, and all the goats are gone! They're totally fine! Probably. <laughs> I gotta make cinder boxes, that's right. Fuck. And I do need two feathers. Okay. Okay. Another bit of back and forth. This is what I have come to expect. Okay. So what else do we need that we can go and get? We need jack bones. So uh jackal what is it? I can't remember. They're probably traumatized. <laughs> nah, goats just look like that all the time. They've just got that stare. Sometimes. Um. Okay, let's go to... The fields. Really? <laughs> Okay! Hello. Thank you. Um, so we need pumpkin jack bones. Oh. Okay. Technically we only need one set of pumpkin jack bones, so we can make this. And then go over to the pumpkin jacks. We also just need reeds in general. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Nice. Oh, pumpkin jacks. Where are you at? Oh, hi there. Hello. Gotcha. Oh. Thank you. Nice. Um. So we needed that for... Not for this one. Oh, we do need to go to the graveyard again. Um. Is it for this? Yes. Okay. Uh, and we can make more snap traps now? Yeah. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Uh, get away from me. Were there fairies out? There are fairies here. Excellent. Thank you. Come here. <laughs> okay, how many... How many uh, cinder boxes can we make with that? Just the one. What's this? Rodent... Oh, okay. Rodent lard. Oh, but that's from the things up in the forest. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. 
Okay. So we got jack bones. Um, if we can make another melting pot. Excellent. Can we make this? Oh no, because we already made the silver bullet. So let's go do that. Let's go kill the wolf. Yeah! I did it! Do we go give it to him now, I guess? No, not the way, this way. I don't know if we give it to him now or if we're supposed to go meet him at the wolf's house, but we'll see if we can give it to him now. Nice. Uh, this way. Yeah. Oh, nope. All right, then around. Mmm. We also need mice tails, that's right. Come on. Thank you! Oh, great, and we got rodent lard from that. Excellent! Oh, yep, there you are. Hello! Mm-hmm. Hey, I got a silver cook. Silver cook? I got a silver bullet for you. Mm. Hello, Torstein. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is perfect. That wolf will know what hit him. I'll meet you at the dark wood, and we'll put an end to uh, to his terror once and for all. With bullet and blunderbuss in hand, the huntsman jogs off down the road towards the swamp. I sure hope he finds his bravery along the way, or it won't matter what sort of slugs he's slinging. Nice! Let's go to the swamp. I'm pretty good. Um oh, let's put that down. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty good. Um been a kind of unexpectedly busy day, but you know, I'm enjoying making some progress in a fun game. How's your day been? Uh let's go to the swamp. Swamp, 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 um, I don't need my goat perch anymore. It got... Oh, thank you! Happy Easter to you as well. Nice. Um... Do we still have to convince this guy, or is he... Oh, he's just gone! <gasps> Buddy, where'd you go? Are there any secrets around here? No. Okay. Any secrets over this way? No. Okay. To the dark wood. Yeah, it is Eve Day. I mean, I've I don't really celebrate Easter aside from taking a holiday, so I've just been eating chocolate and hot cross buns as much as I want because I'm an adult and I'm allowed to do that hello <laughs> you find yourself looking down the gaping mouth of a gun muzzle oh god <laughs> who's there show yourself don't you point that thing at me oh yes ma'am sorry ma'am it's just so darn dark here I can hardly see my own shadow why do you think they call it the dark wood keep your head on your shoulders lad we've got a big bad wolf to bring down uh 
Right! <laughs> I'm totally not afraid of a vicious seven-foot-tall killer who makes his home in a forest as black as night! You need to concentrate on the task at hand. We only have one silver bullet, and if the wolf catches even the smallest whiff of our plan, it's curtains for all of us. <laughs> no pressure! So, what exactly is the plan? The wolf is waiting in his cabin. I'll sneak up and lure him to you with my puppet, just as I did before at the tavern. Meanwhile, you'll find a good hiding spot and ready your gun. And this time, I won't wimp out! I've got a silver bullet! So, uh, do you know which way to the wolf's cabin? I can't really make out a path or anything. Let me worry about that. You just get yourself ready. And remember, don't miss. Okay. Find a path to the wolf's cabin. Ooh! You squeeze through- I don't know where I've gone! You squeeze through the gaps in the trees and duck under claw-like branches, but you've somehow ended up right where you started. Okay, cool. But I'll never make head nor tail of these pathways. Perhaps I should ask someone with a bird's eye view. Ooh! A keen-eyed owl inspects you from its roost. Hoo-hoo-hoo! Well, hoo-hoo to you, too. I wonder what it is you're trying to say. Inspect the owl. Hello. Avian lexicon. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would, I would also see it working out better if the witch had the gun. Oh, we've only we're only missing one thing. Oh, that's wild. Oh crap. Okay. Can we make this? No, we can't. Alright, we gotta go get a whole bunch of boots. Oh yeah, and even if I go like that. Okay. You stay here. <laughs> Don't freak out. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for keeping me on track. <sighs> Everybody else be sure to hydrate as well. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. So we can't do that just yet, but we can make this. Yes. Let's go get that little pig. <laughs> Ah, don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Ah! <laughs> does beer count as hydration? Pretty sure it doesn't. But I won't tell. You're fine. <laughs> um, market. Is this market? Yes. To the market! Um, hog. That's what I'm going to Let's go give him the Lashmaster. I'm very glad that we're only giving them in, in like giving them this cat of nine tails in ex in anticipation that we're then gonna eat them. That's okay. I'd feel bad if we were just giving them a weapon. <laughs> okay. Hey there, little pig. Oi! <laughs> give me that. <laughs> What? A trade? I've had this whip ever since I was a wee suckling. No way, no how am I giving up my precious little flog. What about for a Lashmaster 2000? Is... is that a Lashmaster 2000? <laughs> With extra stinging bobs and a rawhide non-grip slip? Non-slip grip? <laughs> The one and only! I thought you were doing such an excellent job keeping these poor exploited souls under your hoof that you deserved a reward. She snatches the whip out of your hands with glee, tossing her old straw lash in the mud without a second glance. <laughs> no, <laughs> shush. <laughs> Not even saying thank you, she scampers off to test out her newly acquired motivational tool in on unsuspecting farm workers. With any luck, she won't have much time to put it to use. Exactly. Oof. Let's go eat the pigs. We're probably going to have to do one for each of them, I think. I think that's the way this kind of thing is going. But 
Let's get the first one first. Okay. Uh, you. Now to fatten up this little piggy. Boom. You feed the ratty straw whip into the mouth of the porcelain effigy. Despite the thing not having any teeth, you distinctly hear the cr sound of crunching as it chews up its first meal. Ooh. The effigy shudders and swells in size, becoming a healthy-sized piglet made of straw. One down, two to go. For this feast to go off without a hitch, I'll need to gather something important from that swinish middle sister. Tall Pig's Club. She's bound to have a token I could use. Uh, yeah. Let's get them. I don't know what we would make. But let's find out. Oi. Hey, you. You're the one who gave my little sister that souped up whipper, ain't you? Well, I do twice as much work as that stinking twerp. This old beaten stick has served me well these long years, but if she gets an upgrade, then why shouldn't I? <laughs> Magnum brow beater. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we now know how to make a big stick. Hmm. <laughs> we can make that one right now. How do we make that? Okay. Gotta go get some dog fur, which I think we can do in the village. Maybe? I don't know if we have any dogs in the village. Um, mayhaps not. Okay. I need to make one of these. I can. Nice. To make one of these. Nice. And it is dog here that we need, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, not the cat. I need the... the... Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um... I don't think we need changing roots anymore. Actually, let me double check that. Um, boop. Because we still need to make this. Which means we need a skeleton key. So, let's actually go to the cemetery. Because there's a dog at the cemetery. And we can go and get the skeleton key at the same time. And I'm also going to finish eating this roll while I do that. Because I can. Um, spirit salts? That's for the skeleton head guys, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I think I can get dog fur off you. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Yeah! Good, good, good. Okay. Mm -mm. So now we can make this. Uh huh. So we can make this. Nice! Thank you, past me, for collecting so many barnacles when I had absolutely no reason to. <laughs> hey, thank you much, Lee. Um, remind me, what was that for again? <laughs> Avian, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why I needed that. Oh, skeleton key. That's what I needed it for. Mm hmm. Okay. Mmm, I'm actually going to need two of those. Mm hmm. I'll make a few of them. I'll just make one of these. And put it to some good use. Hello! Boop! Thank 
you. I probably could have been smarter about how I used that, but oh well. Um, let's go. Um. Great. Now we're going to the mart. Mm. Are there mimics in the marketplace? I think so. I can check that. I think. Uh, yeah. Great. Let's go to the market. Hmm. <laughs> Mimics. Where are you, convenient chests? There you are. <laughs> oh, right. Boop. Thank you. And I'm going to need another one. Oh, Mimics. Convenient chest? I think you're a convenient chest. Hey, hey, hey! Gotcha! Thank you! Excellent. Let's go give him the smack master or whatever it is. The brow beater, that's right. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay. Here you go! The sow takes a few test swings with her new cudgel, making you duck for safety. Aha! Now that's more like it. Solid build, perfect balance. You won't be needing that cracked old stick anymore. I'll just take it off your hands. Huh? Sure, whatever. It's as good firewood now. She ignores you and goes looking for pine cones or small animals to take a swing at. God, you suck. Thank you! We're getting closer, my friend. We're getting closer. Just you wait. Hello. Ba -ba -ba. You chop up the well withered cudgel into bite sized pieces and offer them to the small effigy. It wastes no time gobbling up the bits of wood and crunching them to splinters. Oh, big boy. Satisfied with the second meal of sticks, the stimulated pig rumbles it once again grows in size this ham is almost ready for dinner it just needs one more helping of soul food something special from that brutish butcher will be the last ingredient i need big pig's whetstone okay let's go get it oh there you are hi boom 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 you see the enormous swine hacking a part of a haunch of meat with her cleaver. Its dull and chipped blade has clearly seen better days. She sneezes heavily before wiping a glob of snot with the back of her hand. You again! What do you want now? As your dutiful employee, I've been taking it upon myself to improve your meat business. That whetstone of yours looks like it's not doing a great job of keeping your tools sharp. She raises an eyebrow with the worn slab of grindstone sitting on the countertop. Huh? I suppose it might be time to replace the old girl. Just think of how much more brutal you could be with a brand new sharpener. Maxi Sharp XL. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Oh no, it's a bunch of stuff I don't have. Okay. Right. And what's this one? Oh, and a turkey gizzard stone. Okay. I need to go and get a lot of stuff. All right. I have to go and get a bunch of goblin snot. <laughs> okay. Um, bunch of goblin snot. One of them. Uh, which is another puzzle box, which I can make. Yeah. So I can get that. 
because that's a gnome hat and the gnomes are puzzle boxes. And a rabbit foot, which I'm guessing is just more traps, but I'm not sure. Um, okay. Okay. But while we're in the marketplace... Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. Just pressing the wrong buttons. Ignore me. Um... Let's make this glamour! Excellent. And we need that to make this, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and we actually need to be over in the village, so let's go that way. This fucking guy. Let's go deal with this landlord. Nobody likes landlords, and if you do, you're wrong. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Alright. Into the bank. Ow! What did you take from me? Ew. Hmm. Yeah, 100%. Okay. Do I have to put this on outside? No. We've got to go use it on the guy. Alright. While the guard is busy picking his fingernails, you quaff the fruity tasting elixir. Its masking effects tickle the tips of your toes with a tingling sensation. While you don't feel any different on the inside, you know your outward appearance has changed when the guard glances up at you. Oh! Hey, you Leonard! Is it time for my shift change already? Uh, yes, I'm here to relieve you. You better go and get some shut eye while you still can. You don't gotta tell me twice, I feel like I've been on my feet all day long. Don't worry, I'll keep this vault nice and secure, you can count on me. Yeah, sure, just keep your back straight. The hawk's in a foul mood today for some reason. The guard stretches his shoulders and walks away, leaving you all alone with the bank vault. I thought for a second that we- I thought we were glamouring ourselves into the hawk, so for a second there I thought- I was like, the hawk is called Leonard? But no. Nope, we're just another bank guard. In we go. Yo, can I take anything else? Nope, just- Ooh, a treasure map! You find the hawk's treasure map framed with pride. It's little more than a tattered corner of a larger hole. No wonder the hawk didn't get very far. This is barely a scrap. Squinting at the half-torn line work, you can make out the cartographer's description of giant dragon bones with a red X marking the spot. Hmm, that carcass looks awfully familiar. I wonder if it's the same one as that one, uh, same as that one rotting out in the swamp. I guess the hawk never had much reason to go searching there. Not many real estate investment opportunities. All right, let's go treasure hunting for a bit until we realize we have a resource that we can't get. <laughs> oh goodness. Um. Is there anything we need to get there? Not really. We need to get a lot of goblin snot, which means we have to make this, I think? I'm pretty sure these are the ones that deal with goblins. Yeah, okay. Oop, nope, that's not what I want. <laughs> Sorry. Up this way, background here. Here we go. And to the swamp. Uh, 
Oh, nope, not that one. Back the other way. Do -do 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 -do. This way. Oh, I should actually pick up some embalming salts just in case we have to make a bunch more revealing dust. Found him! X marks the spot. I'll have to get rid of these old bones. How? How am I supposed to get rid of these bones? What? What do you what do you mean get rid of these bones? <laughs> get rid of them? Um in a sense no Maybe this Maybe we're supposed to corrode them? Um Maybe that's what we're meant to do? Yeah! Oh, I feel so smart. <laughs> the beast's rock-like rem rock -like remains dissolve into a disgusting white goo, leaving behind a conspicuous hidey hole. You reach your hand into the hole and pull out a single copper coin encrusted with grime. Take it. After scraping away the muck on the coin, you can barely make out a motto etched into the metal surface. To summon the alchemist to thee, at the Fey Ring you must pay the required fee. Fey Ring, I wonder if it's referring to that overgrown mushroom patch in the forest. Okay. We can do that. This way! Dum, do, 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 dum, dum, do, do, dum. I need to go to the forest anyways. This is perfect. This is perfect. Um, because I need to make a few more snap traps. Uh, boop. So that I can catch some of those bluebirds. Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, no, we need to go down this way. Hello? Now what? Is it the fairy circle wants? Hmm. That's a great question. What does the fairy circle want? Well, I'm here. Let me just catch a bunch of fireflies. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. What would the fairy circle want? Um. A sacrifice, maybe? Maybe a sacrifice? That would be a little weird. Um. Hmm. Shiny lore. A juicy offering to powers greater. Maybe that? What else can we make? A rainbow roll? Maybe that? Let's make a bunch of pots while we think it over.
Oh no, it's a floral wreath! Okay, good, I'm glad I didn't waste anything on it. Oh my god, we filled in every slot in the grimoire! Oh, I think we're gonna get to finish the game tonight! Hell yeah. Oh, I was right! We did need a log! Nice. Okay. Um, so what do we need for that then? I need... Oh, I can make this. So I need to go down to the farm to make a bunch of dough. We can do that! Let's go! I'm just gonna walk straight down, because there's some goodies to pick up, and we need to be at the top of the forest, uh, the plains bit anyways. Okay. This way! Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Let's go hit some chickens. <laughs> oh, and I need to give you a puzzle box. That's right. Because I need your hat. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Um, jars. Great. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, was it you? Thank you! Excellent. Oh. Just need a bunch of milk. Thank you so much! Okay, so we can make this. Yep. To make this. Nice! Okay, then we also need, um, we needed milk for something else, was it this? No, but we can make that. Hell yeah. What do we actually need for this? We need more reeds, okay. We can come back and get that. I don't want to keep on this path of trying to track down this guy. I want to talk to the rumpling so we can kill the landlord. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Typical video game stuff. <laughs> Talking to the rumpling so we can kill the landlord. <laughs> oh no, I need one. Oh shit. Um, we can go this way though. Because there's reeds over by the well. This way. Here we go. Okay. That we can make these. Boop, boop. Excellent. 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 And now we can make a floral wreath. Yeah! Boom! Baby! I'm sorry? Hello there? Just tapped. Oh. Huh. What's this? That worthless coin said this would summon the rumpling, not some flowery deer. 
You take a closer look at the discarded floral branch. Antler? Branchler? One of the growing buds looks longer than the rest and it twitches when you poke it. Oh, hello there. Looks like the sprout needs some fresh fairy water. There's no water in this fairy circle, but surely there are others about. I'd better go plant this thirsty fellow and see what happens. Yes, it's in the fields. Exactly. To the fairy lake! Ba 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 We're so close to catching a rumpling Or to finding a rumpling Let's go! Do 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 Oh actually I should pick this up while I'm here Whoop. Thank you this way. And then this way. Oh wait, whoops. I went too soon. Ah, don't get me pumpkin jacks. No. Leave me be. No. <laughs> Why are you still chasing me? I hate you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I think that pumpkin jack just bugged. <laughs> this looks like just the place. Boom. You stick- Oh, it is real pretty! You stick the budding branchler into the fertile- I love that we're going with branchler. You stick the budding branchler into the fertile soil of the fairy circle. The suspicious flower bud wiggles with glee, drinking up the magical pond water. After a few minutes, nothing else happens. Come on, come on! I don't have time to watch flowers grow. Maybe I can speed things along a bit. A little pick-me-up should be all that's needed here. Okay, we can make a growth potion, right? Pretty sure. Pretty sure we can make a growth potion. Yes, good. Boom. Eagle. You drip the invigorating fertilizer on that on the stumpy branch and it shakes with energy. The ground trembles as roots rip out around your feet. Pull some Red Bull on it. So gorgeous! Hello! You find yourself looking up at an odd little house that has grown out of the flower bud. An even odder little man sits on the porch glaring at you. <laughs> oh, will you just leave me be? I don't know how you managed to track me down, but please just go away! Hold on now, you've led me on quite the merry goose chase. You are the rumpling, are you not? He sighs and cleans a smudge off of his spectacles. Congratulations, you caught me. The story is true, then? I've caught you, and now you must grant me my weight in gold. Curse that stupid legend. Look, sorry you came all this way, but I don't do that stuff any no more. I'm retired. These days I'm more into woodworking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather have a cute little birdhouse instead? Yes. I know a magical contract when I hear one. I found you fair and square, so cough up the gold, shorty. <laughs> Too bad. I threw my alchemist stone into a bottomless lake. Without that stone to make gold, I'm as poor as a pauper. Why would you do that? Why do you think? Because villains like you kept on trying to shake me down for money. All that rotten stone ever did was bring me misery. Well, I'm not leaving empty-handed. You created the alchemist stone in the first place. You must know how to make another. He blinks at you with his magnified eyes. You want an alchemist stone of your own? <laughs> well, okay. It's your funeral, lady. 
I've still got the distilling equipment in my workshop. Just bring me these ingredients to make a new alchemist stone. Yo. Oh, oh we need the golden egg. Okay. Um, so, what do we need to make the alloy again? More, okay. We can make a puzzle box right now. Great. Um, let's go down here because we also need to get a turkey gizzard stone at some point. So might as well do it now. I think. Uh, oop. Oh, fuck no, we need goblin smelt for that. Uh. Damn it. Okay. We gotta go catch some goblins. Um, um, and we need to go to the mountain. Hmm. 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 Okay. So that needs goblin snot and rabbit feet. Okay. Stay. Oh! Snow can hearts, which we need more melting pots for. Which we need more cinder boxes for. Oh, which we can make now. Nice. But we need more feathers. Um. Wolf needs the avian lexicon, which needs more feathers. Yep. And the hawk needs all these things. Okay, so now we need to be gathering stuff from up north at the mountain. But we also need to get a whole bunch of... A whole bunch of goblin snot and a whole bunch of... Um, wood. And branches and such. So let's take an actual walk here through through the forest. Is it goblins this way? Um, I think so. Mm-hmm. Oh no, that's a dryad. Don't need you. We need goblins. No, not you. Those are the goblins. There you are. God, there's not a lot of goblin snot, which is unfortunate. But I think we're gonna have to just go for it. Actually, we might be able to just grab it. <laughs> Even is there. There's a bunch of shiny stones. But not a lot of goblin snot. <laughs> suck it. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> um, okay, so what can we make with one goblin snot? Ooh, we can do that if we go and get a bunch of rabbit's feet. Okay, great. Um, I don't need you, but there's another goblin over here who might also have some goblin snot. Um, mm, seems not. That's a dry head. <laughs> Won't make that mistake twice. <laughs> that lake? No. We don't want to go to the lake. Okay. Well, we got a goblin snot, so let's go up the mountain, try and catch them bunnies.
And I think we can get all the snowkin now as well. Um, ba -ba -ba. I want to make some more of these. Yes, thank you. Great. Hey, snow bunny. Uh, are you just a regular trap? Yeah, you are. <laughs> oh, that was that was so fast. Oh no. <laughs> That was immediate death. <laughs> oh, pal. <laughs> Any other snowkin snow bunnies? Yes, you. Okay, turns out snow bunnies have absolutely no sense of self-preservation. <laughs> oh man, they just see a trap and immediately run face first into it. Look at him go! <laughs> oh no! Oh pal. <laughs> Okay. Um. Oh, but I need to make a bunch more because we need to catch birds. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. I think we need six, actually. We need to do that here. Because we can't get them further up. <laughs> oh man, I am an ecological nightmare. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice. Um, okay. Then we need to make a couple more melting pots. Great. So we're going to change this up again. Go to the stairs. Gotta go get us some snowkin hearts. <clears throat> To the peak! Alright. Oi, Snowkin! I'ma beat you up! That's right! No hows, you gonna win. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> oh, I'm very easily amused. <laughs> All right. Oh, Buck, I'm here. Look, see how the snow swirls in strange paths? Maybe a snowkin knows the path. Let's find out. You pile the mystical snow at the buck's feet and shield it from the howling winds. The flakes drift in the air like icy glitter. Oh, come on, then. I'm getting chilly. You prod the snowdrift with a muttered invocation. Despite the chaotic storm, the snow crystals swirl into an icy ribbon that slowly trace a line up the mountain peak. There it goes. That must be the way to the crystal cave. He takes off after the trail like a shot. You, hike up your skirt and do your best to keep up in the dense snow. Shall we? It is time. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Fuck Snowkin hearts. Didn't need them at all. 
His face falls as you arrive at another sheer cliff. I don't understand. The snow stops here, but there isn't anything more than rocks. Did the snow can mislead us? Are we lost? I don't want to freeze solid. This is no dead end. Look. You gesture to the cliff where the eddies of swirling snow quickly gather. Within moments, the entire wall of rock is buried under fresh white powder. You reach out a clawed finger and touch the pure snow. It melts away to reveal a glittering opening in the stone. The crystal cave! You did it! Let's go in before we freeze to death. I'm certain the crystal flower must be inside. Let's go! Whoa! Oh, so pretty and pastel. Oh dear! <laughs> oh, I love that they spelled dear that way. <laughs> oh dear, look at all these flowers. I didn't think there'd be so many. I'm going to pick a whole bouquet. You stop the impetuous youth with a quick tug and mutter beneath your breath. Hold on. The prophecy mentioned the one true crystal flower. These other flowers must be a deception meant to trap foolhardy would-be kings. Prophecy? What are you talking about? Uh, I only mean to say that we should find the best single flower for your brother's coronation. Hmm, good point. Quality over quantity. Aha, I think I see just the one right over there. Oh, and it's like a heart-shaped cave. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's this one. It's perfect. Just look at the refraction of the petals and the frosting on the leaves. Oh, but I seem to have forgotten my pruning shears back at the castle. Would you do the honours? I don't want to damage it. Okay. You snip the brittle stem of the flower, careful not to touch it directly. Prophecies can be nasty stuff to stick your fingers in. The buck holds the flower aloft, inhaling the blossom's magical aura. Wow. Smells just like powdered snow on fresh pine trees. Oh! The moment is interrupted by the shrill cries of aristocrats clamoring against each other. I found them! They're over here, my lord! Oh no! In a rush of colourful fabrics and fancy hats, you find yourself surrounded by nobles. The stag steps out from their midst, looking, ir looking irate. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me, brother. The young prince blinks in confusion. What are you doing here? Have I offended you somehow? Usurper! You thought you could slip off when I wasn't looking and steal the crown from me? You think I don't know about the prophecy of the crystal flower? Why does everyone keep talking about a prophecy? I picked this flower as a gift for you, brother. Fool! Only the king can choose the true crystal flower, and you are not the king. The stag reaches down at his feet and plucks the closest flower. See? Only I can... <laughs> the stag never finishes his sentence, his defiant pose forever imprisoned inside solid ice. Oh, my brother, what have you done? You give the mystified buck a reassuring pat on the back as the nobles gather closer. The true king has been revealed indeed. King? You mean me? You are the prince after all, and I suppose that prophecy was pretty clear. Magic flower flowers are seldom wrong, seldom wrong about this sort of thing. And if you tend to your kingdom with the same care you tend to your garden, you'll do just fine. The ring of nobles crowd around the buck. You know, I never cared much for that stag myself. I think a new ruler will shake things up a bit. You excuse yourself as they bow and praise the confused lad. Long live the king! Passing the frozen stag, your eye catches on something sticking out of the permafrost. Yeah, yeah. Yay, monarchy! You reach down and pick out a shard of translucent ice, careful not to cut yourself on the sharp edges. Despite the warmth of your palm, it does not melt. The soul of the stag. Gotcha! Nice. You'll do great, kid. Let's go! 
Nice, nice, nice. Oh wait, did I not pick it up? Hold up. <laughs> I thought I picked it up. Maybe I did it. Hello? There it is. <laughs> you reach down and pick out a shot of translucent ice. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. It would have sucked if I'd have forgotten to do that. 100%. <laughs> um, okay. Done. Now, we need... We need stuff for this. Uh, which we need a gizzard stone. Oh, we can make this. Nice. And we need this. Which we can also make. Nice! Yeah. Imagine Frodo getting halfway to bring something back. Yeah. Cast it into the fire! Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> um, and I thought we needed something else as well. But no, I guess we just need a gizzard stone. But we do need to go and get more goblin stuff. Alright. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go to the forest again real quick. Go grab some more goblin snot, and then back to the plains, I guess? Oh, back to town. Yeah, back to town. Goblins, give me your boogers. Oh, you mean you mean you mean this spring? The, the yeah yeah no I I can do that. <laughs> mm, okay, let's go get the gizzard stone actually. Or do I need I need goblins not for that? Don't I? Yes, I do. Damn it! Where are all the goblins? <gasps> Where are all the goblins? Ah, they're up there. Those sneaky things. <laughs> I told you I wasn't ready. <laughs> I've got to, like, I need, like, 20 minutes to make sure that I've got all my stuff. <laughs> but you were like, no, we gotta go, because sounds gathering all this, like, armies of darkness and stuff. It's like, I get it, but I need my stuff. <laughs> um, where is their goblin snot? Eh. Is there any? No! I can't remember if I get goblin snot from them if I kill them or not. I think I do. Hello! Ow! No! There we go. Oh, that's right. They all just give it up. Nice, nice, nice. I should make a healing potion. There we go. Ta -da! Excellent. That's to the mountain. We definitely don't need to go there right now. Uh, let's make this great and then we can go get the gizzard stone and then we are good to go and we've got the bird thing so we can go and kill the big bad wolf again as well well, not again. We can actually go and do it this time. <laughs> okay. To the field. Mm -mm -mm. Cute baby cabbage. <laughs> 
Oh, oh no, I do hit. There you go. Oh, buddy. <laughs> nice. All right. And then we can make this. Nope, this. Hell yeah. Okay, so we've got that. We do need... Ah, oh, fuck, they do need another one of those. That's okay. Let's go kill the big bad wolf. <laughs> Let's do that. First. We will need to head back to the mountain briefly. But actually, I've got a frozen treat, so we could do that right now. And Because then I don't think we need to go back to the mountain at all. Where are you? There you are. Hello. Come grab a treat. You can get your snack. Eat up. Eat up. Come on. You know you want it. Oi. Eat it. <laughs> God damn it. There we go. Hey. Thank you. Okay, bye. Now we can go. Um, we need to go to the swamp. I think we can make that. Yeah. Sick. What else do we need for the hawk? Oh, yeah, we need. Damn it, we need crystal newt spines as well. So I gotta go do that as well. That's all right. Um, we need the golden egg, and I still don't know how to get the golden egg. Hmm. Uh, this way. But that's all right. We have our avian lexicon to go and catch the big bad wolf. Oh, hello. <laughs> you wave your linguistic scroll at the owl. Magical quill at the ready. Well, speak up. Hoo, hoo, hoo. The quill scribbles across the parchment of its own accord, translating the owl's hoots into something more understandable. Walk warily, knave neighbor. Exploration seldom escapes notice. What does that even mean? I thought owls were supposed to be wise. Okay. Walk warily? Drat. I'll need to find a path through the trees. Are those... Oh! Cardinal directions hidden in the owl's riddle. Walk warily, knave neighbor. Okay. Walk north, north. East, south, east, north. Okay. So... West. Oh, that's why I got so far last time. <laughs> Very good, X-Ray. Very good. <laughs> North. North. East. South. East. North. That must be the wolf's cabin up ahead. He's expecting Little Red to come and knock him, so I'll need to use the puppet to lure him into the huntsman's ambush. <laughs> We're hiding. <laughs> Let's go. I love this thing so much. I just love the way that it moves. <laughs> You puff at the red hooded doll to the door of the wolf's rickety cabin. An evil light glows from within, casting eerie shadows on the ground. You lift the puppet's head to peep through the window, spotting chewed bones and torn rags littering the floor, but no sign of the wolf. Suddenly, yellow eyes stab out at the shadows. There you are, my delectable little pork chop. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten all about me. 
Through the strings of the puppet, a chill runs down your spine as your animal instincts can't help but scream one thing. Run! Oh, whoa, no! Oh, no, do I have to remember it now? Preferring to hunt under the cover of darkness, the wolf pauses to snuff out a glimmering wisp. You need to use these wisps to your advantage if you hope to outrun the wolf. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, God. Before he can snatch up the doll in his teeth, you yank its invisible strings, pulling the puppet out of his grasp and back to your hiding spot. Threat, I'll need to start over again. He's fast, but the wisp light might be enough to distract him. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. There's the next one. Ah! I know I said I like how this thing runs, but I'm not that fast. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, cut a corner, cut a corner. Go, 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 go. Fucking don't miss, my guy. Flop, 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 flop. <laughs> at your command, the puppet comes to a halt at the center of a moonlit clearing. The wolf bursts out of the shadows, gripped by ferocious rage. Ha ha ha! There's no place left to hide, little piggy. You're mine now. All mine! Bearing his fangs, the wolf pounces into the air with tremendous force. The sound of thunder roars loudly across uh, from across the clearing. Crows scatter into the night air, and the dark wood falls silent. Blinking in disbelief, the wolf staggers to a stop. He glances down at his chest, where a crimson spot blossoms on out onto his vest. The huntsman reveals himself from the bushes, holding his smoking weapon anxiously. You, you shot me. The beast crashes to the ground, exhaling his final breath. His glassy eyes transfix on the full moon high above. Hesitantly, the huntsman boggles at the wolf before a triumphant grin crosses his face. I did it! I actually did it! I defeated the wolf! Don't forget that you had some help, kid. This villain won't hunt any longer, and that's what, re uh, that's what really matters. As the huntsman strikes a courageous pose atop his trophy, something pearly white falls from the wolf's mouth. <laughs> My guy! <laughs> you pick up a glistening fang broken by the wolf's fall. From deep inside the bloodied tooth, you can faintly hear the whimpering of a dog. The soul of the wolf. Gotcha! <laughs> Now let's go have a roast dinner to celebrate. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> that was great. I love that. I also love, like, watching your inventory slowly diminish as you get closer and closer to the finale of something. It's great. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready to go. Um. Oh, Butcher! I have a whetstone for you! Hi. Just think of how much more brutal you could be with a brand new sharpener! Diminished inventory? Yeah? Do you not understand the same- do you not get the same feel? The sow slowly grinds the blade of her cleaver across the new whetstone, sending flecks of rust flying. She plucks a hair from her own chin and tests the keenness of the edge by splitting it in half. <laughs> Not bad at all. Go on, take this old stone and throw it in the trash bin. Thank you! <laughs> you don't have to it's fine <laughs> in games like this where you're like gathering stuff to make quest items but yeah you know. uh this ham is almost ready for dinner it just needs one more helping of soul food something special from that brutish butcher will be the last ingredient i need big pig's whetstone 
You toss the old brick into the effigy's ravenous maw and it cracks it to dust within moments. Nice! I do like that. Very good. I've I've clocked the um three little pigs. I appreciate it. one of them's straw, one of them's wood, one of them's brick. Nice. Good job, game. Um <laughs> if I need them. Exactly! Oh, big boy! With its final meal of bricks, the porcelain simulacrum swells to monstrous proportions. Oh, really, big boy! <laughs> A rattling laugh chills your blood as the old man's spirit looks upon your work. <laughs> what a beggar's feast this is. I thank you for the kind jester. But I don't gesture, but I don't, still don't see how this will bring justice to those wretched swine. Just you wait. I have to fire up the barbecue first. Oh. Do I have to make a. S Do I have. Damn it! <laughs> I don't know if I have enough stuff for this. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, I've got to go make one last run to the store. Um. Yeah. That's alright. I needed to go to. Um. Back to the mountain, anyways. I think. Didn't I? Yes, because I need to go and get the. Um, some more spines. Okay, let's go do that. Real quick. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, lizard. There you go. Come get it. Come on. Come in. Oh, wait, do you use those? No, you like the other traps, don't you? Yeah, I'm a doofus. Uh, these ones. <laughs> Shush! <laughs> oh, no, please don't beat me up. Please don't beat me up. Thank you. Okay. And now we can do... Uh, what's the actual thing we need for the hawk? Oh, we just need the spines. Okay. So we got the alloy, we got the spines. So we need to work out how to f get the golden goose. Okay. Weird. Maybe we got a... My instinct would be that we have to put it to sleep. Because it gets angry the moment you get anywhere close to it. But... I don't know. Come here! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you! And now we can make a cinder box. Good. Back to the market. And this way. What up? Oh. Okay. Uh, up here. Oh, no, is the is the goose right here? It is. Interact. Oh, a glitter bomb. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I need to go get some more soot sprites, but that's fine. Do I need two of those for a glitter bomb? No, just one. Okay. <laughs> We can find some more soot sprites. Maybe we'll get some soot out of this. That would that would make sense to me. Oh, 
Striking a spark into the pit, you set the, ten the tinder alight. You take a step back, watching the orange flames leap high into the air. The porcine effigy blackens as you tend the fire and fuss over the coals. A succulent aroma begins to waft on the wind. The old man licks his translucent lips hungrily. I swear, I could almost smell a d Wait, I swear, I could almost smell a delicious roast. Ah, if only it were real. Over the sound of crackling logs, you hear a crowd of footsteps come padding down the road towards the cooking pit. Over here! I knew I smelled something good! It's the others! My friends, you've come back! Ah! A g ghost! No, no, wait, is that. Is that old man McGraw? Say you ain't so old timer! When you. When you never showed up for the morning head count, we all feared the worst! It's true. I ended up as pig food, can you believe that? I worried you would all face the same fate as me. However, did you escape the hog farm? It was the strangest thing. The swine sisters started complaining about the weather being too hot, even though it's pretty chilly if you ask me. All of a sudden they bolted out into the woods, squealing all the way. Left the gate wide open and everything. Then we smelled something delightful in the breeze and couldn't resist. It's been so long since we've had anything other than pig slop. Gosh, that smells so good. Is it barbecue? Where did you get all that food? <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> In place of the brick, sticks and straw, the porcine effigy has split into a, a mountain of delectable sizzling meats. Hen! Sausage! Bacon! It all looks so delicious! What a wonder! It truly is a feast! Thank you! What did I tell you? Enjoy yourself for a little lo while longer and be at peace. The starving crowd happily helps themselves to the feast, cheering, laughing, and praising the old ghost's name. You see something twinkle amongst the cooling coals of the cooking pit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Warm to the touch, you pick out a piece of greasy gristle from the soot. On closer inspection, it appears to be three separate chunks. One fat piece, one long piece, and one small piece. The souls of the pigs. Gross! <laughs> okay. So now... Uh, we've got to make a glitter bomb. Okay. Hey, uh... <laughs> no, they weren't a kid, they were just small. Um, small in a, um, in a size sense, not in an age sense. Okay, let's go, I think if I go back down here we can get some soot sprites. Yes! Come here. Where are you? <laughs> Where are you going? There you are! <laughs> Glitter bomb? Glitter bomb! Let's go kill a goose. <laughs> Is that canon or are we just trying to make excuses for the witch? No, I think that's canon. Because what there was the the big one. The tall one and the short one was how they were defined. Um, I don't think it was a kid, because no, yeah, because it said I've had this since I was a wee suckling, so they've grown up. So they were an adult that was abusing people, not a child. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because they're dead now. As will this goose be. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> See, now I think you're trying to force it to fit that narrative. <laughs> Let's go back to... I'm pretty sure we've got everything. Yeah? Yeah! Let's go! Um, up 
this way. Over this way. Do, 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 do. Down this way. Please stop chasing me. Thank you. Here you go. Oh god, can I remember what your voice was? <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> I still got the distilling equipment in my workshop. Just bring me these ingredients and I'll make a new alchemist stone. I think that was close to it. <laughs> The rumpling's eyes light up at the, at the sight of the alloy, and he rubs his fingers together in anticipation. Uh-huh. The rumpling looks away from the newt spine, gesturing vaguely at the ground beside him. You lay it nearby. Golden egg. You pass the golden egg into the hands of the rumpling, who receives it tentatively, as if it could hatch at any moment. Collecting all the components into his arms, the rumpling disappears into his little treehouse. You can't tell exactly what he's doing inside, but the sounds and smells emanating from the chimney make you think it's better left unknown. He emerges sometime later, with singed eyebrows and foggy glasses. Eureka! I've done it! He holds out a glowing emerald with a pair of iron tongs. Here! <laughs> Go ahead, it's yours! The rumpling can barely contain his snickering. Take it. You appraise the glittering jewel. It's abnormally heavy in your hand. Very pretty. The little man's giggling abruptly stops and his face falters with disbelief. Oh. Hmm. What's the matter? You seem disappointed. I, uh, it's nothing. This is just not what I was expecting, is all. He strokes his beard thoughtfully. I guess I should have told you earlier, but there's a slight, uh, curse to the stone. It can only be touched by one whose heart is free of avarice. How convenient of you to leave that part out. Since you went to all the trouble of tracking me down, I just assumed you were in it for the gold. Oh my, no. I don't care much for that Richard stuff. This gold is meant for someone else. Well, I gave you what you asked for. Our deal is done. Now leave me in peace. Alright, alright. No need to be rude. I've got to bring the stone back to the millers. Oh, that's right. So, so the hawk is a shitty landlord, and we're giving uh, the stone to the millers, who are people that live on a farm that he was hiking up the rent for and also purposefully sabotaging so they would be unable to pay him. And now they're going to be able to make a bunch of money and get rid of him. You buck! The Hulk will return with his goons any minute now! Don't worry, I've got a solution to your monetary problems right here. You hold up the alchemist stone proudly. Oh, that's a very fine jewel. But I don't think it will be nearly enough to satisfy the Hulk. Just stand back and watch. All this grain is just waiting to be spun into gold. Boom! <laughs> you place the stone into a barrel of grain and it melts through the kernels like butter. The barrel bursts under the weight of glittering golden coins spilling out onto the floor. <coughs> wow! It's a miracle! Let's go do some more! <laughs> Uh, uh, you touch the alchemist stone to a bushel of straw and it instantly transforms into a mound of sparkling riches. Amazing! I can't believe me eyes! And you. Whoop. You. You roll the alchemist stone into a bag of flour and mountains of gold dust rip through the canvas sack. How is this possible? I've never seen so much gold in me life. You're welcome. Oh, fuck, it's the hawk. <laughs> Before the millers can so much as count a single coin, the door crashes open. The hawk strides into the mill, flanked by a pair of guards cracking their knuckles. Time's up. Where's my money? Yeah, pay up, squirts. M Master hawk, not to worry, we've got your payment right here. His eyes open wide at the sight of the piles of gold strewn about the mill. 
What? But how? Never you mind how. This should be more than enough to cover the costs of the miller's debts and the deed to the property. I don't un- I don't understand. Unless- No, it can't be. He points a hooked talon at you accusingly. You! You're the rumpling! There are no- There's no other explanation! God sees her! The two goons leap forward and grab you roughly by the arms. You're making a terrible mistake. Just take your money and leave these good people in peace. Don't play smart with me, imp. I know how the legend goes. I've caught you, and now you must give me my weight in gold. <laughs> I'm rich. I'll lock you up and squeeze you for every penny you've got. I'll be the wealthiest hawk in the entire kingdom. No, the entire world. Now, pay out my first installment, rumpling. He outstretches his hand towards you greedily. As you wish. <laughs> you dangle the alchemist stone out over his palm. <laughs> yes! No sooner does the cold stone touch the hawk's skin than a brilliant flash of yellow light engulfs the mill. When the light fades, the hawk stands before you, transmuted into a solid gold statue. What magic is this? Horrified, the two soldiers beat a hasty retreat through the door. What happened? Is he okay? You tuck the stone safely back into your satchel and give the hawk statue a pat. I think this should set you up nicely. Just don't go spending it all in one place. Thank you. How could we ever make this up to you? Live a rich and full life. That ought to be enough for anyone. You notice a stray feather glinting on the floor. You pluck the golden feather and run your fingers along the gleaming bar barbules. It makes a sound like coins falling into a wishing well. The soul of the hawk. This is my payment. Worth his weight in gold. The souls of the stag, hawk, hogs, and wolf rattle inside your pack like angry insects. That's the last of these villains. Now it's time to put an end to this wretched business with the goat. Hawk also fails to realize that his... <laughs> yes, that is true. <laughs> let's go! Wait, hold on. Let's wait for the screen to move, and then let's go! Okay. <coughs> I'm also gonna step away for a quick minute just to get some more water, and then, uh, and maybe grab some chocolate, and then we'll come back and finish this off. I'll literally be two minutes. Okay, bye. And I'm back. Hawk. <laughs> Take an Econ 101 class, you doofus. It's true. These these villains, they never they never think it through. Oh. Alrighty. Chocolate acquired. Time to finish this. <laughs> Saving them for this, the ending of this game. Just it's as important an occasion as any. <laughs> also, you can get Oreos pretty easily. I don't know if you'd be saving them something in particular. If he was, you can blame me. I take full responsibility. Let's go! Hey, devil! The goat paws at the floor with a cloven hoof. You've returned. I was beginning to grow impatient. 
I would have thought patience would be one of your strong suits. But don't fret. I have brought you the last of your souls. Delicious, are they not? You know what to do. Oh. Shimmering... <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Shimmering sensations of the hawk wash over you. The nib of a quill scratching on parchment. Coins clinking. The sharp snap of a closing padlock. <laughs> the worst one. Your eyes water at the smell of the hogs. Grunting swine and buzzing flies. A cleaver falls onto a wood block. Blood, bone, meat. A chill runs through your fingers as the stag sockets into the wall. Condescending laughter. Schemes in the snow. Pride, arrogance, hubris. Your mind sinks into shadow in the presence of the wolf. Soft footfalls padding through dry leaves. Hot breath. Big eyes. Sharp teeth. Oh, they're all there! The collected souls vibrate with incandescent intensity. They seem to melt into their recesses, boiling away into tiny pinpricks of starlight. Soon, nothing remains of them except twelve smoldering scorch marks on the stone wall. Oh, well done. That's that. Our contract is fulfilled. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Hang on! What about your end of the deal? You said you would return my memories to me. Did I? Well, perhaps I misspoke. You never really had any to begin with, do you? What are you talking about? I just don't remember them. I woke up and... And met me? Yes, that sounds about right for your very first memory. What? But you told me that I brought the sleeping maiden to you. That I asked you to save her soul. Oh, what I meant to say is that she came to me. She asked me to save her own soul. But it's so very easy to get confused. You, her... Really, what's the difference? Dawning realization creeps over you like ice water. Her life was cut short. Weathered by the wolf's fangs, or the or whether by the wolf's fangs or the hog's cleaver, or under the weight of a dozen other wrongs, I do not know. But in desperation, she called out to me. So we struck a deal. I would save her soul in exchange for theirs, one for twelve. But it's not like I could let her go and collect them herself. She needed to stay here, you see, as insurance. So, so what then? You created me, is that it? To collect those souls on her behalf? <laughs> Big time X-ray. So, such a shocking twist of character for this clearly evil devil goat. <laughs> well, I should say that she created you. Snipped off a piece of herself to do it. It was, it was all worked out in the contract, of course. And now that contract is fulfilled. Panned out nicely for everyone, I'd say. So if you, by which I mean she, have a need to get out of another bind, don't hesitate to give me a shout. Ta-ta for now. Whoa! The room fills with a flash of blinding light. You blink and the goat is gone, leaving only a goat-shaped hole in the world. <laughs> Slowly, you turn to face the sleeping maiden. You feel sluggish and heavy. You take a strange steps towards the co gilded coffin. Your legs snap like dry twigs and you crumple to the floor. The cauldron is the last to fall. It resounds with a hollow clang as it bounces off the ground. <sighs> you slowly open your eyes and see the vaulted ceiling of the hall. You raise your hand to touch the clear crystal surface of the gilded casket. The glass lid slides open effortlessly and you swing your legs to sit up. The marble floor is smooth and cold under your bare feet. You stoop down to pick up the familiar metal cauldron. Slowly, memories come back at its touch. Damn, I'm hot. <laughs> Hey! <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that was so lovely. Thank you for making Witchwood developers. This was great. I'm glad that oh, that's a, yeah. I'm glad that that at least was her and not just like a totally random thing that wouldn't remember. I'm glad that she got to remember a little bit. It's a little sad that, you know, that version of her got um destroyed, I guess, but I don't I don't mind that ending. Um yeah, oh no, plot twist, the goat is secretly evil. What? <laughs> No, but that was lovely. Oh, thank you, Amy! <laughs> that was really great. Hmm. Hmm. Alien Trap Games! Oh, whoa! Artist, writer, and creative director and designer. Look at all these lovely people! They made a lovely game! Such a good dame, and a good game. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, and Ubisoft Toronto. Nice. Ah, That was lovely! I wanted to see if there were any secret things. No. That was really fun! That was such a nice time! Thank you all so much for coming along and hanging out with me while we played through that game. What was that? That was like... Three streams worth of a game, I think? Um... Really fun. The first person to get goats in the deep. She really hated goats. <laughs> yeah, undoubtedly. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out while we play through that lovely game. That was really fun. It was a little bit of... Uh, it was a little tricky because there was a bit of, you know, back and forthing stuff. But I think we managed to manage that pretty well. So hopefully it wasn't too boring <laughs> i'm glad you all had a good time as well um and yeah and we finished it like before 10 o'clock even so nice um next one that i think we're gonna jump into will be dredge because i really really want to play it but i can't play it right now because i gotta wait until i get paid to be able to buy the game but <laughs> next saturday we will have dredge on here which is a like horror fishing game and there's also inventory management and boat upgrades. So you know it's got all that good stuff that I love. And I hope you all love it too. <laughs> um, if you're watching and you're not already, um, hit follow to see that in future. It's a good time. Um, but yes, thank you all for hanging out. This has been super fun and super chill. Um, fishing. <laughs> horror fishing. Exactly. Yeah, horror fishing. Um... It's going to be a good, good time. Um, so yeah, thank you all for hanging out. I'm uh, going to head off, but I hope you'll have a lovely weekend with whatever your weekend plans are. Hopefully you're getting a bit of a break just to just chill out a little bit, because I think we all need that at this time of the year. Um, and I'll be back on Tuesday with another Twitcher Tuesday playing some more Witcher 3. We gotta go find out who the serial killer actually is because we got it wrong, apparently. We just killed another random terrible eternal fire person, not the right serial killer one. So we gotta go find the other guy now. Um, but yeah, thank you all for hanging out. Um, it was super fun to get to play a game start to finish with all y'all. It was a great time. Um, and I shall see y'all. I bet it's the goat. <laughs> You know, I hadn't thought of that one. That's a good theory. Um, yeah, but I gotta go. So I'm gonna head off. But it's lovely to see y'all. Thank you for hanging out. I've said that like five times now. But I mean it. I appreciate you hanging out and spending time with me. Um, all the best with whatever else y'all are getting up to. And I shall see yous next time. Bye!